it is the 360 degrees rotator, unscrew the rotator locking screw to use it. Here we use the T8 wrench to tighten the rotator screw. Unscrew the M48 adapter. Use the locking ring removal tool to remove the corrector locking ring. Screw the M48 adapter back to the corrector. Use a T8 wrench to loosen the rotator locking screw and take out the corrector. Attach the collimating adapter and the corrector locking ring to the focuser. Then use a T8 wrench to tighten the rotator locking screw. Remove the M48 adapter from the corrector and screw it on the corrector locking ring. Then installation in the following order, M48 adapter 1.25 adapter collimating eyepiece. Now, let's start collimating. Use a 3mm wrench to adjust the primary mirror locking screws so that they are flush with the bottom surface. Use a 4mm wrench to clockwise tighten the primary mirror adjustment screw. Loosen all three secondary mirror adjustment screws. Tighten the secondary mirror locking screw until the secondary mirror holder can be turned with force. Turn the three secondary mirror adjustment screws so that they all can touch the base of the secondary mirror holder. Looking through the collimating eyepiece. Adjust the secondary mirror adjustment screw. Let the actual situation is the same as the one shown in the illustration, the red circle is concentric with the center point. Remove the collimating eyepiece, 1.25 adapter, and the collimating adapter. Attach the corrector and M48 adapter, recover to the original state. Connect an eyepiece or a camera and make the 13028HNTL in focus. Mount the 13028HNTL to an equatorial mount or a base, aimed at an artificial star point or a bright star point to observe. Adjust the focuser to make it close to focus but not in focus. If the star points are not concentric, the primary mirror needs to be adjusted. Adjust the three primary mirror adjustment screws and move the target star point along the wider direction of the diffraction ring to the edge of the field of view. Adjust the equatorial mount, move the target star point back to the center of the screen again and observe whether the star point is concentric. If the target star point is not concentric, repeat the adjustment steps until the star point appears concentric. Lock the three primary mirror adjustment screws, the primary mirror collimation is complete.